Now we're going to talk about the Layers menu. Depending on what screen mode you're on, you have access to the Layers menu where you're able to layer different types of information onto the display. To access the Layers menu, I can either access it from the side swipe on the side here and select Layers, like that, or I can edge swipe from the bottom and it brings the Layers menu up. Here in the Layers menu, you have the ability to change things on the chart plotter screen. The Layers menu is active for the chart plotter, the radar, and the weather display. Going back into the layers menu here on the chart plotter, you'll see that we can change our charts from raster, vector, hydrographic office, and fishing charts. We also have the opportunity to set it up as an auto, allowing it to change to whatever chart has better coverage in the area that you're in. Going back into here, we can turn on or off our satellite photos, and it's as simple as just tapping on the on-off switch. Same thing with depth shading, I can turn that on and off. My radar overlay, if I have a radar attached to this system. I can turn on my radar rings if I want to have those on there. Guard zones, one and two. I can turn on my tide heights and my tide currents. I can have my tracks on or off, and the same thing with my routes. And I can arrange my routes by departure or arrival. I can show my points or waypoints. I can also display AIS targets and ARPA targets if I have that ability within my system. Let's take a quick look at the radar display. If I go into my radar display and if I go into my layers palette, you'll see it's smaller than it was before, but again, it gives us options for our radar rings, our guard zones one and two. We can display our routes and our points, also our AIS targets and our ARPA targets. Finally, if we take a look at our weather display, same thing if I bring up my layers palette, here you'll see we have the ability to turn on and off weather data, advanced weather data. We can change our charts and overlay satellite photography. We can turn on or off our tide heights and currents, our tracks and routes, on and off our points. We can also turn on and off our AIS targets and our ARPA targets. One thing to note is that you can control the time that this menu stays on the screen. To access that, you simply go to the main menu, so I'm going to hit home and go into settings. I'm going to go into my general settings, and there's a menu item called user interface auto hide. Right now it's set to 10 seconds, but I can change it anywhere from 3, 5, 10, or 15 seconds. So if I hit the 15 seconds, hit the X, now you notice that when I bring it up, it will stay on the screen longer than it was staying on before.